Let's see how we can use tricks in competitive examinations like J and NEET. Suppose we have been given a circular arc and charge on this circular arc is uniformly distributed and that charge is what? Q. Angle this arc makes at the center is what? Theta. And we need to find electric field at the center right here and these are the four options given to us now if somebody tries to answer this question with proper technique then that involves integration and takes time but you can answer this question if options are like this or almost like this using some tricks and we'll see those tricks in this lecture first thing electric field at this point if you remember q the only thing you need to remember is this if q is a point charge then at a distance of r from it electric field is given by electric field is given by kq upon r square if q is a point charge then at a distance of r electric field is simply what kq upon r square and just if you remember this part then you can eliminate first as well as third these two options again you remove these two options basically this is the profile which you can expect in neat type of examination and then we gradually increase the level to j and then to iit advance what is this circular arc and i asked you to remember what electric field of a point charge is what kq upon r square it's not a point charge it is what a circular arc and therefore kq upon r square this result is not valid and therefore option a is not correct now the option c is not correct look at the denominator of option c this is what r but when you talk about electric field denominator should be what meter square and therefore this option c is not dimensionally correct so we have removed what this option and this option now suppose at this stage at this stage in the examination of neat there is no way that you can figure out which one is correct out of b and d and you have to make a guess then if you make a guess if you know nothing if you know nothing and you have to choose one correct answer out of these four then chances of that being correct are basically what one by four one by four becomes 25 percent if you have no idea which of these four options is correct but suppose you somehow removed a and c now since you have removed a and c you don't know which one is correct b or d then at least now you are making a guess out of two which is what 50 percent you have doubled the chances of this question being correct but as i told you for me they won't be making it very tough for you and you can easily eliminate between these two options how can you eliminate between these two options what is electric field basically force electric field is what force on a unit positive charge consider consider a circular arc consider a circular arc like this which is basically a semicircle if it's a semicircle then you are interested in electric field at this place what is happening electric field of these 
points which are present on the ring all these points all these charge points these points their electric fields will be will be like this this one in this direction this one in this direction which means what if this its electric field is like this then a symmetrical charge is present over here and its electric field is like this and then i told you that electric field is fundamentally what force if it's a force then what type of force you find at this place i hope you can visualize that force will be coming right in this direction downwards which means what if you have a semi circle the thing is fundamentally what if you have a semi circle like this what is a semi circle for a semi circle your theta your theta must be 180 if theta is 180 then at the center electric field cannot be zero this much force is present all these electric fields all these electric fields they are horizontal component they are getting cancelled but vertical components they will survive ultimately you will get some electric field if electric field is present for what theta 180 then you can say that this option is not correct why not because if you put if you put theta as 180 in this then sin of 180 is what zero and therefore according to this electric field must be zero but we have seen here for a semi circular r there is no way electric field at the center can be zero it does exist it is present if it is present that means this result is what wrong and therefore the only surviving candidate is what d look here what is theta what is theta 180 what is 180 divided by 2 90 what is sin 90 1 this thing says this thing says when theta is 180 electric field is not zero i hope you understood this part now uh, this is what neat level as suppose in j they gave you something like this they gave you r square these are the four options but this option is now what dimensionally correct we have ruled out this part we have ruled out this part look at this part this is dimensionally correct if this is dimensionally correct then again look here if theta is what 180 then electric field should be there but what does it say if theta is 180 and what is 180 by 2 180 by 2 is what 90 what is cos 90 0 180 by 2 is what 90 what is cos 90 0 and therefore you again found that this option is not correct hopefully you can understand or you can eliminate these options with the help of little tricks now let's raise the level a bit and say they gave you they gave you something like this they gave you an answer like this that this option b this option b was basically in this form theta divided by 2 divided by theta these are the four options present in front of you this 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 and this and let's say we have raised the level for iit type of examination you can expect something like this not all questions can be answered with the help of trick but some of them before you leave them just make sure that you have used this type of setup now this one is wrong we have already proved theta is 180 180 by 2 90 cos 90 0 but it should not be 
This is already wrong because this electric field is of a point charge. Between these two, we have to decide. In here, if you put theta 180, then 180 upon 2 is what? 90. 180 upon 2 is 90. What is sine 90? 1. And therefore, this time round, this time round, this option says that E is not 0. This option, this is also saying that E is not 0. They both agree with this observation. If theta is 180, E should be present. They both agree with this observation. Then how can you, how can you decide between these two? Look at the trick part. We will use a mathematical approach. And as I told you, not for not neat and all. This is for J. This is a mathematical trick. Technique, not trick. Sine theta upon theta. This thing is approximately 1 provided theta tends to 0. It's also good for neat. Sine theta upon theta is approximately 1 tends to 1 as theta tends to 0. If you remember this, then you can eliminate this option. How can you eliminate this option? Look here. If I say that this theta tends to 0, if this theta tends to 0, then what happens? What is this? A circular arc. This circular arc, as you reduce theta, it tends to what? It becomes a point. As you decrease this theta, as you decrease this theta, this arc basically becomes what? A point. And this is a point, then electric field of a point charge is what? KQ upon R square, which means what? Look here. This is what theta by 2 and this is what theta, which means I can, I can rearrange, I can rearrange this thing in this form. K Q upon R square sine theta by 2 upon theta by 2. But there is no 2 present here and therefore I should also multiply by 2. Now this thing says whatever angle is present here that should be present at this place also. Then this thing is what? 1. Theta by 2, theta by 2. And if theta tends to 0, that means theta by 2, this is also a very small number, which gives you what? This whole thing, this whole thing, then becomes what? 1. If this is 1, then your electric field, according to B option, is coming kq upon 2r square. But it should be what? It should be what? kq upon r square. This arc has become a point and therefore electric field must be kq upon r square. Now look here at the d option. Theta by 2, theta by 2. Whatever is present here, same thing is present at this place. And therefore this number becomes what 1. If this becomes 1, you get what? kq upon r square, which is the correct result and therefore option D is correct. I hope you understood how to use tricks. You will learn these tricks when you solve these questions. When you look at a question where options are like this in this form. If they are giving you numerical values then it becomes extremely difficult and almost impossible to use tricks. You need to find the value. But if in any question they have given you things like this where you can manipulate with these numbers theta and all then before leaving a question or before attempting the question with proper integration and all proper integration will require what you will have to take dq charges you will need to find the electric fields and then you will have to integrate properly using vector sum put proper limits and you will get this result but for competitive examination, these things are good. Now, how good these things are? How good these things are? If, if instead of electrostatics, 
they ask you this question same question in 11th in the form of a circular arc of mass m a circular arc of mass m and they ask you what is its gravitational field strength at the center they are looking for g and again options are in this form in gravitation in gravitation they will change option a with something like this g m divided by r square this option will become something like this g m divided by r square sine of theta by 2 divided by theta and same thing with c and d logic again the same thing for a mass if it is a point a point charge for a point mass only for a point mass gravitational field only for a point mass gravitational field strength is given by g m upon r square k replaces with g q with m r is what r same logic same trick you can use with gravitation that's the advantage of these tricks and all you can use them in gravitation you can also use them in electrostatics. no down this